Welcome back to my channel for today's video. We are doing the awesome pack unboxing. The only thing I did was take the tape off the top of the box so we can actually open the box. So I'm going to actually let Joey more so open this. So he's going to bring everything out and show it to you guys and kind of give you his first impressions of it. But I'm just going to be here to be the adult supervision. So ready, Joe? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is all you, bud. You're going to bring everything out and you got to show the camera and tell them what it is, okay? Okay. So, we see papers. I'll take those out because Joey doesn't need those. Okay, go from there. It's all you. Take everything out. Tell them what everything is. Okay, uh, this is called Beam Me Up. Uh, let's see, a fun trick taking card game that sends you to space. It says, it's the annual alien conference and the aliens are stuck on the moon without transportation. This is your chance to take an alien home. Maybe not your home, but it's your job to get the aliens back to their home planets. In this trick-taking card game, the highest card wins the round. Call out Beat Me Up when you have collected three aliens from the same home planet and a space racer will come to the rescue. The player who sends the most aliens home by the end of the game wins the title of Star Space Traffic Controller. Um, so the skills are decision making, grouping and coordinating, symbol and number recognition. And this is for ages 6 and up. Oh, so this is going to be fun. It's a little card game and pretty much I'll show you on the back what it looks like. So what you would do is you will pair these guys together. So three guys from Biscuit. Once you get three of them you say beam me up and it takes them home. And then the person that gets the most beams wins the game. So that's going to be a fun game to add on Sunday nights. What else? And I got. Let me show. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And this is Amazing Spears Bulls. Fabulous. Just add water to grow giant spheres. Oh, so you add water to grow giant spheres in like the test tube? is what it looks like it says this it explores the wonders of science while doing the experiments from the instructions inside the giant test tube on the front of this card each super tube instruction sheet contains instructions for at least three diff distinct science activities around the theme of your super tube huh this is like a science project i think this will be a lot of fun and i think joey will have just a lot of fun so this is definitely awesome thank you awesome pack okay what else do you see Oh, I know what this is. It's paint. Uh huh. It's paint. Okay, so this is called painting by numbers. So down here at the bottom, each of the paints is labeled by a number, and then on each page there will be a number. So you match the color with the number, and you paint a picture that way. I think this will be fun, right? Mhm. Mm what else? This is a big one. This is a big one. No. <laughs> he just oh. dropped it. Ugh. It's a heavy game. It is frog slide. <laughs> kind of. This is called Frog Wobble, the pond party balancing game. It's for ages three and up. And what it be? Uh, what do you have to do? The pond becomes a playground for eight fearless frogs on a teeter tottering log. Can you get all the frogs to balance? It may take working together to stack, shift, and steady all eight wooden frogs on their wobbly log. Or have a frog face off and see who will be last to keep the frogs afloat. You will laugh along with the rest of the pond in the comical game of balancing fun. So pretty much it's weight balance. So you have to make sure that the frogs don't fall off the teeter. And to do that you have to balance them out. And they're different shapes. Ow, I just hit myself in the face with that. As you can see back here they're different shapes and sizes. So you got to make sure that you balance them out so they don't fall over. I think we're going to have some fun with this. And I think this is more of like a math game to... You know, equal, equal values. What else is in there, Joe? This is. Ooh. Ready? I'll show them. Okay, so this is a Mario Kart Wii. Um, it's collect them all. It's a pretty much a blind bag, and it's for Mario. Joey's not really into Mario. He's actually never seen Mario, so I will actually open this one now if I can. And I can. I think it is, so this is what it looks like. I think if I open it, it is going to be, I'm going to say it's 
I'm gonna say Louis Yoshi. Oh, I'm right, it is Yoshi. Oh God, he's in pieces, guys. He's in pieces. I didn't think it was, I, I actually not gonna lie, I thought it was Luigi, but I said Yoshi because, I don't know, it didn't feel like a dude, but apparently it was. Look, it's Yoshi. Can I try? That's cool. That's oh, all that's yeah. in there. Ooh. Maybe I'll get Joey interested in Mario Kart. And this is... You want me to do it? Here. Is this the last thing? Yeah. This is called Kids Cards. Let's see. Kids Cards is a standard deck of cards with fun and funny, funky kings, queens, jacks, and jokers designed for your kids. You can learn to play these classic fun games. Go Fish, which Joey already knows how to play. Crazy Eights, Old Maid, Joey knows how to play Old Maid. Um, War, which we know how to play. Slapjack, and Concentration. Don't I have... don't know how to play Concentration. I've never played it. Everything else I've played. So this is the last thing in our awesome pack and it's just a set of card games but the fun thing is we can never have too many cards because we can put cards in a bag to go traveling with us i remember one time i flew to florida with my cousin and we brought cards with us and we played cards the whole entire plane ride so maybe we'll bring some cards with us on our adventure in april so here is all that is in our awesome pack i will leave the link for awesome pack down below you can check it out maybe it's something you might be interested to do with your family i know it's something we like to do to add games to our collection and we'll see you again soon for another video bye, bye guys, guys.